Welcome back, everyone, to Wipe Falcon Place. We're back in the void. The vault of the void. We're at the uh, actual last floor here. Going to take on the void. It's been a little while since I played last. I feel like I can't remember. We're using Chi, if I remember. Or what is it called? She. She to take out people. Hopefully we'll be able to work it out before we get to this main boss here. May as well release our souls. Take a bit of damage off them. What have we got to do work with? During the void fight. At the start of your turn, overcharge one. Increase your maximum energy by one. Okay, it's not bad. During the void fight, the first card played each turn costs one less. It's not too bad either. During the void, each time you purge a card, block three. I don't think we're purging too much. The Void will start with 20% damage taken. Okay. I think maybe we'll go with these two. Um, let's start with... Uh, we haven't tried the Puppeteer, I don't think. Let's start with the Puppeteer. The Puppet Master. The Puppet Master. The Gloom will become, it, become its laughter as it mocks with a pantomime of dancing. Puppets of clacking wood. Breaking insanity is the Crincess... Crincendo. Crescendo of applause it seeks. Do that back again. All right. Manipulate of Banes. If the fight prolongs, the Banes will become overwhelming. Take him out quick. Let's go. The Puppet Monster. Ooh. Tons of Banes into our deck already. Alright, what have we got? Each time your deck is reshuffled, Echo 1 and Expel. Rigged. Let's do that then. Foresight 1. Rigged. Oh, that's right. We're doing uh, costly spells. Uh, where is 1? Deal 10 She. Deal damage equal to half of the target she uh, we don't have our other one which is a pity we don't really need this but on the boss it might work well um, what do we want to do here 13 let's do that one to start with block 3 delay block okay that's not bad can't actually play this one. So we'll get rid of that. Um, what do we got here? At the start of the fight, shuffle seven banes into your discard pile. The enemy's frenzy is equal to one plus the number of banes currently in your hand. Ah. All right, let's do another clarity. We'll take that down. Ooh. Free cost. Can't afford two though, and we can't destroy it. Can't play that, so we get one energy back. Off we go. 14 damage. We don't have much to work with here. Block five, follow up trigger, plus one. Um, so it's already got blue, that's right. I remember now. We can use our skill. We may as well block mm, two times. Transfer all she to the target. Purge deal two she to all enemies. So purging seems pretty good with this one. There we go. We go into our Zen state. Let's get some future hits on him. Make him. Oh, we should have done that first. Definitely. Um, do we use this? How many block we've got? Six only. It's going to inflict 10 damage. Um, let's gain an extra mana. Alright. 10 damage. Let's 
We've got this time. Um, that's going to be handy. Gain two energy and here. This one's good. Can get to do it twice. Uh, deal eight, she. Follow up, deal six, she. So follow up. So we need to do another red. Opener, block nine. It's not going to happen. Follow up, apply vulnerable three. Do a furious assault. Then we can follow up with this one. And we follow up again. We can do uh, this one. And then we can deal 15 she plus deal half the she to him. Decent, decent, decent. We only got two block though. We got nine out of six out of nine mana though. Pretty incredible. Okay, clarities. Let's grab some of these uh, good cards here. Oh, and we can discard that. That's really good. Um, what should we get rid of? Each stack of fatigue, which is that, which is only one stack. This one's probably better, so we'll uh, get rid of that one, I guess. All right, now we're going to Zen State. Start hitting on some Shi. Range 25%, so we'll do that first. Oh, yeah, we can do this as many times as we want, can't we? I forgot. Decent, decent. He's not looking that healthy anymore. Exit stage right. Replace top deck card with two banes. Ah, uh, that's harsh. Wow. Wow. All right, all right, all right. Um, follow up. Ouch, he's gonna hit us hard. 42 damage. Oh, good golly. All right, 42 damage, can't do much about it. We're gonna block 10 of that. We get 25. Okay, not as bad as I thought. Deal with two she a number of times equal to nine minus this card's energy cost. That's pretty decent. It's a red though, we want two blues if possible. It's overcharge, overcharge, Zen state. Deal six I because of why is that jumping to six? Oh, because of the card's cost, of course. Um, can we make that higher? I don't think we can. I'll follow up. Apply vulnerable. I think that works. Yes, that's good. Look at all that she. I like it. Wow, he's so close now. Again, I like how unique this kind of combat is. We'll have a lot of mana. But we're going to take 17 damage, which is not good. Again, we're just doing what we can. Oof. Ouch. Okay. Oh, I was going to say we should be able to take him out this turn, but for my next act, force draw three, then attack. Wow. We're dead, I think, maybe. Uh... So transfer all she to the target, which is already done. Slay um, half the target she. This is this will take him out, I think, actually. Oh, we are so lucky that that happened. I think we were gonna be dead that turn. All right, do we have any potions we can use? No potions. Now triggers every third turn. Apply vulnerable. Oh yeah, that's right. It was a bit difficult to play. Um, all right, we've got no potions to use. So we just have to keep going. Um, do we do this one or do we take off percentage of his health? 
What's this one allow us to do again? During the fight, start with one overcharge and increase your max mana by one. Hmm. Maybe just 20% damage would be better. <laughs> you can just see the feet now. Um. No, we'll, we'll, we'll go... 20%. It's like 220 damage or so, which is definitely decent. I don't know which one's easier for our deck either. I've only done them once. All right, let's go. There's three units, which is good, I think, for us. Let us head in. The Queen of Ages. Where there is darkness, there is intricacy. Lee woven spider webs stretch between broken realities and... Of the then, the now, and the to be. The queen and her stream of children silently stalk any web, sowing fear to the poor souls who blindly stumble too close. As the ability to clear debuffs and gain high, oh, clear debuffs, and high amounts of fortitude, her minions can constantly apply poison when they aren't keeping their queen safe. This could be problematic. Alright, each time your deck is reshuffled. What do they got here? If the Weaver starts its turn with one or more conditions, suffer poison too. Is is um she a condition? Hopefully not. Alright, let's have a look what's going on here. Um Some clarities to start with is nice. Yeah, don't need that. Can't afford it. But we can get these costs down. Um, that could be good. No, it's just block though. We don't need block. We need block afterwards. So we'll get rid of... This will give us an overcharge. Apply slow, follow up, apply vulnerable three. So we don't really want this because it's going to poison us. We'll just play this one. Okay. 20 attack. Oh. Good golly. Uh. Do, 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 do. Are we in trouble? One could say yes. Alright, block. Wow, look, it's not even denting this damage that they're doing to us here. Um, Twenty at the bottom. And we got the poison hitting us too. Oof. We could be in big trouble here, guys. how much poison we're getting. Ugh. All right, all right, all right. What do we got here? Deal Tenshi just to a single target. Uh, follow up and Zen. We haven't got Zen yet. Transfer all Shi to target. Uh, how much have they got? 45. Um... We might be able to get enough though here. Alright, let's um We've got fifty-nine. Seventy three. So if we then Do this to that guy, it's dead. Doesn't tell us. It should then die, which is the worst, but they're both doing the same thing here. And it applies it to that one. Okay. Um.
This will be eight and then six. And we're not in Zen though. Oh. But I think that might be enough. 55. Sixty-one and then sixty-nine. No, it's not. Can't do much about it though. Or we could do twenty here. If we get rid of both of those. So I think that's what we do. Forbidden knowledge. Add two dazes plus one frenzy. Okay. Oof. Don't know if that was good or bad. We may as well... Uh, maybe we'll put it to her. Because if we debuff the other guys, they're going to hurt us with poison. It's hard just to survive here. Clarity on uh, this one, I think. Uh, we can get rid of a daze. I love that. Love that. Get rid of all those dazes. Okay, blocking is good. Block four for each stack of fatigue on the target. Okay, we've got a lot of delay here. We could get some mana. Let's get some mana in that one. And then we'll get a decent amount of uh, delay going. Haunted. Oh, goodness. That means we can't use our stones, which is a pain. Okay, okay, okay. Transfer or she. That's good again. We could kill another one. Is that... Is that good? Um... Uh, poison and poison again. We don't have the other she we need though. Um. Ooh, gonna do some poison to us here. Look at all this poison. Five. Ow. Oh gosh. Probably should have went for her instead. Like this isn't working. Um, alright. So we can get rid of that stuff there. Um we could take that one out. Destiny. Grant Queen of Ages Fortitude equal to own HP, then die. She can die right now. Alright, I'm gonna block. Ooh. We needed to focus on the Queen a lot more. Cause we we were we'd be up to like a hundred and something by now. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay, we're in trouble. Um We don't get the Zen. Ugh. Wow. I don't know if I've done this right at all. Does this do it? Oh my goodness, we survived. Woo <laughs> This is living on the edge every single fight. Alright. The main boss. Here we go. Hopefully what we've got is going to help us enough to take it out. We don't think we've received anything extra. Alright. When the light of the last star finally fades. 
this thing will remain. So, cross the threshold, enter the Vault of the Void. The Vault of the Void will gain AP every turn and debuffs will be reduced twice as fast. It has the ability to inflict several debuffs and affliction cards. Look at the health of them all. Alright, is this going to be enough to survive? The first card we play is a one less. Let's uh, start it all going then, shall we? Ooh, that could be useful. Um, maybe we'll won't take this. Like, there's going to be a lot of damage coming through though. Hmm. Alright, we won't. Let's get some overcharge going. We'll do this one. We'll get some more overcharge. And hit the... Uh, each of these are 100. I think it's definitely better to take out one of these guys first, if we can. We've got a decent amount of mana next turn. We've got no extra block. We just healed everything we just did. All right, we need to block as much as possible. Um, we've only got one blue, so we're going to have to go red first. All right. Jeez. We are in trouble. Do we do another one? I think we'll stay... 20 damage though. Oh, don't give me Banes. They're all just gaining health. Okay, that was, that was alright. This was alright. We got some blues this time. This actually will give us a lot. Delay block 4 for each stack of fatigue on the target. Okay. Uh, wow, they got 46 armor. Alright, so we want blue first. Um, may as well do that. We could swap she, but it's not really going to help us, so we'll just purge it. Um, put a whole lot of she on this guy. Oh, so close! And this will do nothing because it's got so much protection already. Oh, but that was close. We should have made got money uh, mana out of that. Oh, but it's not going to happen until this turn. So yeah, that worked. Okay, good, 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 good. This is a lot of... Oh, that's alright. Okay, clarities. Ah, oh, just... It's, oh. What is that card? What was this thing? On draw, suffer vulnerable one, scrap expel. Okay. Um... Okay, we're on Zen already. Block 9 and apply slow. Vulnerable to follow up. Yeah, vulnerable sounds good. Decent. May as well do that. I should have done that first. I got two fatigue now. Put something else crappy in our deck. Okay, we've got remorses and if it in the hand at the end of turn suffer cripple unplayable okay suffer vulnerable one owl and scrap expel okay all right what else have we got here so let's 
We can't get uh, Chi here. Zen. He's getting close though. Do we play this? Suffer one vulnerable scrap and expel. So automatic discards at the end of turn. So we don't have to do anything. Remove from battle. Okay. So it's just gone. Hopefully. Oh. He's just gone. Is that bad? Probably. Alright, we can take this guy on now though. Looks like we're doing fist attacks. Okay. What's this one? X less cards. Ouch. Ooh. Now we are in fear. Discard cards. Goodness. Alright, we're definitely discarding that one. Um, how much fatigue? Three fatigue. Block six. Um, we'll take a tiny bit of damage. We could do that and take no damage, but I think we'll do that. Uh, then we will... Follow up, it's better, so we'll do that, and then we'll do that. Oh no. Alright, alright. Feels like we're so far away. Vulnerable? Oh! Ouch. Alright, clarities are good. Let's do this one first, just in case. We've got another one of those eyes in our deck. Um, we kind of need this one this time, but the O. This is so good as well. I guess we could get rid of this one because we're not doing many attacks. Don't like it. Ooh. We need to start doing some good damage to him though. Look at the damage he's doing. Alright, alright. We can discard that, for sure. And I guess that one. Um, alright. We haven't got any uh, first hits or anything. Look how much life he's got. My goodness. Ooh. We're not getting much block here. Let's hope we get some block and stuff. Oh, he doesn't want us to discard this turn. Oh, man. At least this is quite good, actually. Ooh. Maybe we have to use that to get rid of it. Ow. Big damage this time. Look at all the stuff he's putting on us. Oh, Jesus. Oh, good golly. Um, that's all we can do. 447. Oh, he's going frenzy again. It's just so much damage every time. Alright, guys. I think we're in trouble here. Oh, that was a big hit. That was a big hit. And then suddenly, maybe. And then suddenly, maybe. Ooh, how much life has he got left? Oh, and then he hits that hard. Ooh. 
All right, these are good. These are good. Um. This one's not that helpful. Okay, so we need to do this one. So then we get the uh, follow-up chi damage. Oh, it's so close. Oh, we got him! Guys, we got him! Yes! That was pretty intense. All right, floor one, two, and three. Bam! Oh, it's the monk is very intense. Choose a card, master selected card. All right, let's have a look. Um, this echo wall would be kind of cool to use in a different way because we got that skill right at the start that changed it. I'd like to do future strikes more in the next run if we do another run with this guy. But what would we do? Do you four stri future strikes two times? Like we seem to get this anyway, don't we? Or no, we didn't. Um. Well, that does everything. Jack of all trades. Uh, I think one of these three, maybe. Or these two. Vision two. Choose a card from your discard to place on top of your deck. Wow, that's pretty cool. Alright, we'll get that one. So you could just keep you could keep looking and then you master it and it goes on the same guy that you played. Okay, that makes sense. Because I didn't understand it exactly last time I did it. There we go, guys. The void has been destroyed again. And did we get the new character unlocked? Yes, Daughter of the Void. Alright, very cool. Alright, everyone. This has been Vault of the Void. And we played, what is his name? The Enlightened. Well, I think we went Mindfulness in the end. Uh, but we started off with the Marshal. But um, yeah, there we go. Alright, thank you so much for watching, guys. Until next time.